Hey everybody, it's Cheyenne, and as you can see, this video is titled, How to Start Over. And the whole reason I'm making this video is because I will be starting over. Um, I'm not going to delete any of my videos, nothing's going to be gotten rid of, I'm just... I want to turn over a new leaf, and I want to express who I am more to you guys. So, let's get started. Okay, so first, I know. Starting over is not an easy thing to do, whether it's in real life or it's on YouTube or, you know, maybe you were playing this really cool video game and you were getting so far and then you die and you have to start over. Trust me, I know the struggle. It's hard and it, sometimes it's so annoying and so frustrating and it can be pretty scary sometimes, especially in real life or maybe when you haven't told someone completely about yourself and now you're realizing that it's time to just out with everything and you need to start over. So, it's not always about starting over in a way. That sounds strange. Starting over isn't about starting over. Maybe you don't have to completely change who you are, completely change what you're doing. It's always, it's more about changing the way you look at things. Because maybe one day you'll look at someone and you'll say, I don't know, I think I love them. But then a couple weeks later, you realize that maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. And maybe you care for them, but you just, you're just not in love with them. Or maybe you really wanted this cool new game and it's like 50 bucks and you're like oh I want it so bad but it's so expensive and I can't buy it and it's sad and then a couple months later the game's you know rate not maybe not rate well maybe yeah rate drops and so does the price of the game and then you know you kinda look at it and you talk to your friends about it and you borrow your friends copy real quick just to see how it is and the game's not as great as you thought it was and so you realize hey, you know what, this saved me a lot of money because I actually am not a huge fan of this game and hey, look, now you're starting over. You're changing the way you looked at it. And so I want you guys to think of starting over as more of not changing you, but changing how you see things. And when you think of it that way, it becomes a lot easier to look at things differently. So, I want you guys to think with a more open mind. Maybe you guys already look at the world with an open mind. Maybe you say, hey, the whole world is a beautiful flower and I can pollinate anywhere. Please don't. Oh gosh, that, that's really bad. Okay, so, maybe you already look at the world with an open mind. So keep doing that. Okay, if you don't, I want you guys to look at the world with an open mind. Let's say that everyone has a basis to be good, and everyone does. They do. Everyone has some piece of good in them, no matter how bad they are. And I know some people can be really bad. But let's say that just this once, everyone has a small, tiny, eeny, bitty little good in them, at least that much. Or maybe only that much. But hey, at least that much, right? I want you to look at the world like that. Whether it's for just a moment or whether it's for a couple hours or a couple days. Just look at it like that. And I want you to take a deep breath and maybe not look at people, but look at the nature in the world. And then look at the city. And find the beauty in the city. And there is, I've seen it. Then look at the people. And you can see the beauty in them, too. Find good people in the world. And I promise there are good people in the world. I've seen so many good people. I'm friends with a lot of good people. And it makes me so happy sometimes to see that there are still good people in the world. I want you to look at those people. Find exactly what you like in everyone you see. Not just the good people, but the bad people too. Because there is going to be someone, something that you like in someone, even if you don't like them. Find what you like in everyone. And take each bit of that part that you like of those people and make it you. 
Maybe you don't have to be exactly like that, but maybe you make it a part of you and change it up to make it your own style. Keep doing that. Every day, find something that you like in someone and try and, you know, change it up a bit and make it a part of you. And then, a couple months from then, a couple months from now, as you've kept doing this and kept doing this, I want you to look back on who you were. Because right then, before you look back, you're not going to feel like you've changed that much. But I want you to look back at who you were and look at what you did back then and the things that you said and the way that you said them. And if you've been doing what, you know, this whole thing where you look at people and you find the best of them, you're going to realize you've changed a lot. And that's how you start over. I was going to make this whole video on how I'm starting over on YouTube and I just want to turn over this new leaf, but I realized it's not always about just starting over. And I said this at the beginning of the video. It's about finding who you are and making it to that and then thinking about who you want to be, who you really want to be in this world, and think about what you want with that, you know? Do you want to be this person who's kind and generous and loving, or do you want to be this person who's strong and independent, or do you want to be both? You know? Because you can be both. And I want you guys to think about, you know, what you want. Do you want to be a bartender? Which is actually pretty cool. I, I know someone who's a bartender, and they are awesome. But, or do you want love with that? Or do you want a puppy with that? Because puppies are friggin' adorable. And so are kittens. Do you want a kitten with that? And I want you guys to just keep building on who you are. And pretty soon you'll realize that you've changed so much, but you're not going to regret who you were. Alright, that's something else. Never regret who you are. Never regret who you were, and never look back and regret the things that happened to you because everything that's happened to you has made you who you are. And that's a beautiful thing. It is absolutely amazing when you realize just how different you would be if certain things hadn't happened. There's a lot of things in my life where if they hadn't happened, I probably wouldn't be the person I am today. I probably wouldn't be sitting in front of this camera giving this long speech that's drawn on and on about how you can be a different person while still being you. And it's funny because when I was younger, I always thought it was strange to have that saying of just be yourself and just be who you are, don't try to be anyone else, because I didn't think there was a way that I could try to be anyone else. And there's really not. You know, you can't make yourself into someone else. But I've realized that when they say be yourself and try to be like someone else, or don't try to be like someone else, it's more of why try to fit in when you were made to stand out? You know, why try to blend in with the crowd if you don't always agree with what they say? And it's okay to not agree. It's okay to be friends with someone and not always agree what they say. Heck, me and my best friend, we get into debates all the time. We were just debating earlier. It's okay. That's the whole thing about life. It's okay to be different. It's the one thing that makes us the same. So, if you want to start over, just be you. How strange that sounds. And keep your mind open to the possibilities in the world. Maybe you don't always have to trust everyone. Maybe you don't always have to open up to everyone immediately. But just keep your mind open to things. And pretty soon you'll see the world for how beautiful it is. And you'll see yourself for how beautiful you are. And you are beautiful inside and out. Don't forget that. I want to thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Stay you and you know if you want to see more or if you want to see cover songs make sure to subscribe 
I'll put an annotation somewhere around here. I'm just getting into this more YouTube stuff and as time goes on I will be telling you guys more about me. I'm learning how to open up a little bit more and so that'll be cool. If you guys want to hear anything, you know, want advice on anything, comment down below or email me. I'll put my email in the description and I will do my best to get it done. If it, and if it can't happen, I'll let you know and I'll let you know why. I'm always going to do my best to explain to you guys why something can or cannot happen and I'm always going to do my best to do everything I can for you guys. Like I said, I love you guys and I'll see you guys later.